so we went downtown for the uh, for the opener. Obviously, that's opening day. We went downtown the other night for dinner, and uh, I was pleasantly surprised with with kind of what was going on in terms like there are people out. Where at? Okay, so we went to Bruce Chris. Downtown by Channel Four. Well, here's a story. So, my wife, we're we're thinking, hey, we're gonna go somewhere. We had a we had a gift card somewhere else. We love Ruth's Chris, but hadn't been in years. This will this will tell you why. I'm like, let's go Ruth's Chris. Let's get let's get a steak, whatever. So she makes the reservation. So we drive to Clayton. Oh, Charlie. And I'm like, wait a second. I'm like, that's where the Ruth's Chris is, but it's not a Ruth's Chris. And I was like, where'd you make the reservation? She just said it said said Chesterfield and St. Louis. Well, St. Louis is the downtown one. Right downtown. But no longer, the one no longer exists in Clayton is what I'm saying. Oh, so no. we were thinking we're going to Clayton. We're like, how long has this one been gone? They're like three years. So that shows it. We hadn't been there in freaking five years. Yeah. So I will say the plan was not to go downtown. The plan was to go to Clayton. Yeah. But we had the reservation. We drive downtown. And I've always said about downtown, like, parking is key. Parking is very key. It is. So when you go there, you can park underneath, validate. So you feel very comfortable about your car being in the garage and all that. But I'm saying just driving past Ballpark Village, driving past the wheel lit up at night looked really cool. And then they had some construction going on at that uh, hotel there, the Hyatt. And so you had to walk through the hotel to go to the restroom because they were working on the restrooms right by Roos Chris. And I just I saw a lot of people that were touristy. You really? Know, whether it was a tournament, like you saw a bunch of, not kids, but teenagers. So whatever they're here for, I don't know. But there was a lot of people, you know, we got there about, what, 7, 15. There were a lot of people walking in and out. They looked like tourists. They looked like teens or college. I don't know if there was a tournament in town or some type of convention. But I, I've always said this about downtown. Downtown has a million problems. I do think overall the news coverage is so bad Sometimes you think you're going to Baghdad, when in my opinion you're not. What I'm just saying is I was pleasantly surprised Good. with the activity that was going on in and around the hotel. And then as you're driving past, like I said, the soccer stadium looks awesome. The wheel looks awesome. Ballpark Village, the Cardinals weren't in town. But still, like, Ballpark B- Village was, was lit up. It yeah, looked but that, cool. Yeah, that's nice there. So even where Ruth Chris is, because I know exactly, it's right, it's right across from Channel 4. Hyatt, yes. Right by the Hyatt. That area, I, I, from what I remember, I haven't been down there in a long time. It was kind of kind of shady a little bit. Has it built up a little well, bit? Well, they redid. I know the uh, the hockey player had the issue, but they put that multi million dollar project into redoing the arch grounds, so it's right there. So I did see people walking because when we got there, it was still light out. I saw people walking from the arch grounds and whatnot. Good um, man, that's a good sign, like said, Charlie. Listen, good listen, downtown. We have we have lots of problems. Yeah, but I'm saying. When I went down there, I was like, hey, this is good. Like, you can go downtown. Yeah. Again, to me, I've said this 5,000 times at Bush Stadium. I don't want to park on one of those tributary streets seven blocks away. I think that's where a lot of the issues come up. Yeah. I think some of the lots that are further down where they take your money and they bounce, yeah. I'm not parking there. So I park in the patios lot every single time, every and, I feel time. Ve- and I'll pay more for it. I feel very safe. And if you go there after the game, the patios folks are still patrolling through the lot and it's a close walk yeah yeah that's good man that's good to hear what'd you get i got a ribeye my wife got sizzling on this on the fillet 500 the, degrees 500 degrees this on is the weird plate. but as much as i like the the steaks there the freaking roos chris cream spinach oh god the cream spinach mm. at roos chris damn is, is one of the top side dishes on earth it's damn so good. we did the cream spinach we did au gratin potatoes for the sides. We did some stuffed mushrooms for the uh, Ooh, appetizer. Baby. Ooh, baby. I had a couple, couple Stellas. Because, you know, that's the one thing. When you go downtown, you know, I'll have two beers. Plus, parking, you know, when you have a, when you have a big truck, oh, yeah. that's another thing about parking. When you have a big truck, it yeah. sucks to park. It does. By the way, um, and this was nobody's fault, but uh, opening day, you know, they try to cram them in. I get it. You're trying to make as much money as possible. But if you have a large truck, like I had to do an Austin Powers 47-point turn to leave. So I'm, I'm, when I say 47, I don't think I'm joking. I'm talking almost a 47-point turn. Eater, eater, eater. Almost hitting every car 46 People times. People are waiting on you. Oh, 
Oh. And I'm just, you're stressed. You're like, ah! Sweating. Everybody's giving you the look like, let's go. You keep looking. Did I bump that guy? Yeah, dude. I mean, 47 is exaggeration. It Why'd was you over, take your truck? It was over 20. Why'd you take your truck? Well, we were going to Clayton. Hey, even Clayton, your truck sucks. Yeah. Yeah, it does. The truck absolutely sucks for parking. It sucks for parking. It really does. Par- anywhere you go, it sucks. Unless you're going to Innsbruck or something like that, or you're cruising around on these on the highway and whatnot. But if you go downtown and you're in those little parking lots in Clayton, your truck sucks. And part of the reason I bring that up, I'm sure everybody saw that article where the building got sold for three point five million. We talked about it. And so, of course, all my buddies who love all my Chicago buddies, yeah, love to crap on St. Louis. Anytime there's any national story, I know, but it's also they got their problems too. That's what I'm saying. This is in jest with your buddies. Yeah. So anytime there's a bad news story from St. Louis, they immediately throw it in the group text and Marlowe question mark. Mm-hmm. But I do the same if there's a bad Chicago story. So it's in fun. But still, we have a lot of problems in St. Louis. But you can still go downtown. Good. For some events and dinner and a show. There's still a lot of good down there, although we need to improve a lot of things. What do you think about that building? When you heard that and you read that, Wall Street Journal, what was your first initial thought? What my thought was at first was, what's the real deal? Meaning, I mean, is that something that the cost of renovating it is going to be so much? Like, I, I find it hard to believe that you really got that for, what is it, three and a half million? Three and a half. And no debt? $205 million in 2006. No debt? Are people in there me- messing up the place? Squatters and stuff? That the, could be The good thing, thing about Missouri is we have good laws on that. It's a good, it's a good state to be a landlord in. Well, that's, that's getting brought up in a lot of other states, these squatters that are yeah, taking advantage of people, man. It's just absurd. It's unbelievable. Can you imagine that, Charlie? You bust your ass and you got these people and they won't leave. They won't leave for months, and you're trying to get them out, and they won't. And then you got to go through this, different things, and this, that, and the other for months and months. I don't even I, – I need to research how it's even a law. Yeah, it's really weird. I see that every damn day with, with people complaining about squatters. I read different articles about it. Joe Rogan was talking about it the other day, too. Dude, there's weird laws about – we were talking earlier about Innsbruck. In certain states, if you were to do your VRBO or your Airbnb – and let's say you get somebody in long term. Yeah. So let's say you want somebody for the winter. Somebody, whatever the rule is in your state. Let's say it's over a month or something. Well, if that person then stops paying, they're looked upon now as a renter. So you would have to evict them. Ah, uh, yeah. So you can't just be like, get the hell out of here. Again, it's it's based on the contract and it's based on the state you live in. But you could you could say, hey, I want you to to stay in my. VRBO over the winter for three months. And let's say after a month or two in certain states, that person doesn't pay. Whatever it is, they won't leave. Well, now you have to go through the eviction process. Like Which they're a long a term. Ass. Yeah, and it could take forever. You should do that, Cole. <laughs> you should go, you should be a squatter <laughs> and go to some badass house. You know the guy's on like he's gone for the summer or whatever. Yeah. You go into his house, you set it up nice, act like it's yours. When he comes back to bitch at you, be like, I don't know what's yeah. going on. You got to go through the authorities and the process. And then you chill for another month and then you leave. Yeah. It'd be awesome. Then when they kick me out, I'll be home. I'll be, I'll invade Just their house. Your, yeah. And then he'll send me to a sanctuary city. Yes. Like Martha's Vineyard. Yes. And be like, hi, I'm here. Because I see the sign. It says, the sign right here says, welcome, yeah. I'm here, feed me. Exactly. I got to go to the bathroom, by the way. Yeah. Let me in. <laughs> <laughs>